Hi, my name is Chip and I'm the owner of Darts and Parts. It's a dart supply store here in Denver, Colorado. What I, I'm going to uh, attempt to do is to uh, describe a method of choosing the dart that might best fit a person looking for a set of darts. There's some different factors. Uh, these are strictly my opinion. Other people are going to have different opinions, of course, on choosing a dart. Um, so I'm just passing on the information I've garnered over the years I've owned this shop. And so let's get right down to it. First thing on a dart, uh, one might consider the weight of a dart. There's uh, three pretty much uh, popular weights. You might say it's a light weight, uh, and then a middle weight, and a heavyweight dart. So there's lots of different options there. And what you'll find is that most people hover around 24 grams. And uh, anything really under 24 grams is going to be considered light. Anything over 24 grams, heavy. By regulation, a dart can be 50 grams. Here's an example of a 50 gram dart that is a true tank. And if that was a brass dart, it would probably be the size uh, of your forearm. That's how uh, the, the advantage of tungsten is it creates a more slender dart allowing for easier groupings. Tungsten was a big advance in darts. So here we have kind of a middleweight dart. You can see uh, 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 it's a dart that uh, a lot of people, it's popular with a lot of people because it's in the middle weight. Here's a dart that's a lightweight dart at 21 grams and you can see because of that uh, you have an advantage of having a very slender dart which helps in groupings. Getting three darts into that trip 20 for example. All right, so that's weight. That's one thing to consider on darts. The next thing to consider on darts would be the barrel. That's the actual barrel of the dart. And uh, some people like a shaped barrel. You can see this is a shaped barrel. Uh, some people like a straight barrel. And so that's one other consideration. Uh, your type of barrel might be a shorter barrel, might be a longer barrel. The next consideration is grip. Uh, do you like more grip? Here's an example of a dart with a lot of grip in there. It's going to feel super tacky. It's going to really give you a lot of launch force. Here's an example of a dart that has a smooth grip. A lot of people uh, don't like a, a sticky grip because they want the dart to leave their hands cleanly. Okay, so now we've covered the factors that are involved and you kind of combine those, move into the dart of your choice and uh, select a dart. The other part about creating a dart setup is, of course, flights and shafts. So in flights, typically people look for a standard flight, which is the larger flight on the left, or a speed flight. Standard flights are the choice of most steel tip players. Speed flights are the choice of most uh, electronic soft tip players and that's because with a smaller flight like the speed flight a dart flies faster it doesn't arc and dive as much so it gets into those electronic boards a little more efficiently then the other factor is your shaft and most shafts are going to come in two sizes medium which is the longer and then shorter which is the short which is uh, the shorter of the two and so uh, that can definitely affect your flight pattern it's fun to try different different shapes uh, of your flights, different lengths of your shafts. It'll uh, create, it'll allow you to tweak your dart setup. So I hope uh, this has been a little bit helpful. And so uh, it's not it's not very long a presentation. It was kind of short and sweet. And so uh, uh, we look forward to serving any of your darting needs in the future. Thanks again.